In this video, we're going to focus on the line join in Canvas. And this is part six of the JavaScript Canvas API tutorial. So right now we have like what we call the ending or the caps. We have changed that. But what happened if you, for example, have a line with an angle and you want to maybe con when you connect these lines together, you want to adjust the so-called edges of those lines. So to do this and to explain this very carefully or clearly, we need to create an additional line. So what I'm going to do here in the line tool, I'm going to enter here a new line. And then what I want to do here with this line, it's a connected line. That's why it's a line join that we're going to use. So we're going to just put in here 30 pixels, moving it down. So what I want to do here, I want to make a line that goes down here that is connected or joined with the this line and goes down here with a sharp angle of 90 degrees. So once I have this and I save that, refresh, you can see here now we get this nice angle. All right, I'm going to copy this, do exactly the same here, but here will be 230. And finally here, paste that, and this will be 330. Save this and refresh. So now we have this, and what we would like to do now is to make sure that we remove these edges here nicely. So to do this, what we're going to do here is basically use three specific commands. These are specifically for the line join. So what are they? So the line join has three specific commands, and the first one is called the miter. And the miter is basically what it really means is making two lines joining together with a 90 degrees angle. This is what we call our default state. So if you look at this, this is the reason why we have this 90 degree angle here. It's a default state. So the next one is what we call the bevel. And the bevel, what it really does is, is to change or flatten out this sharp edge here to make it a more softer item, but it's not rounded. It's still like being cut in a certain angle position. So this one will flatten the angle. Finally, what we have is what we call a round line join. So basically what happens then is similar to what we have here, a more rounded shape like a border radius style. So this is more a rounded border radius, radius style. All right, so we have this here. So let's start to work on it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just put in here an enter. And then after the line cap, I want to say CTX line join. And this line join equals, and then we put in here the miter item, which is a default state. So that's why here right now nothing happens. So if I just copy this, and I'm going to put it in enter, and then we're going to say here bevel. If I save that, refresh, you can see here now what is happening is just it cuts up a certain angle. In this case, it's probably a 45 degree. So finally one here if i do this and I put it here and i will say here round save that refresh you can see you now this one has this nice rounded style as well so why is this very important here because remember when we created two lines but they are not in the line two there was no connection so let me just create this one duplicate this so you can see exactly what i'm talking about and then i'm going to remove this or we had this line two here, all right? So what I'm going to do is, we have this one here. We just keep that in there. But this here will be removed or changed with the 250, that one, which we get here. And this here will be the movement. So if I save this and then refresh, you can see here the line join, what really happens with the line join, it will start to connect this missing square shape or basically this missing angle here if you don't do this we will basically have two separate lines and they're not being connected with each other nicely so this is why when you have two lines here you have them already by default with a miter design that makes the angle here nicely so this is most important part of the line joints